I just wanted to mention about the refrigeration cycle. We know that we have the metering device, we have the evaporator, we have your liquid line and your suction line that goes back to the compressor. We have air coming through this filter. This fan is going to be blowing the air out through here and supplying to the rooms. Now, the air coming in is going to be about 75 degrees, return air temperature, about 55 degrees, supply air temperature going out. But this filter right here, the purpose of this filter is to trap the trash and the dirt that may be in the air before it gets to the coil. Because if this filter is not there, this coil is going to get dirty. If this filter gets dirty, what's going to happen? We're not going to have the airflow that we need going across this coil, so this refrigerant is not going to boil like it's supposed to. This refrigerant is boiling at 40 degrees. If everything's working right, everything's doing what it's supposed to, it's going to be boiling at 40 degrees. And that's what we want. But as soon as we restrict the airflow, we don't have enough heat. Because of that, now this temperature is going to drop. Typically, we want approximately 400 CFM, 400 cubic feet per minute of air traveling across this coil, and that is per ton. So this is a one ton unit. We're going to want 400 CFM, approximately. If this is a two ton unit, then we're going to want about 800 CFM if everything's working right. Once this filter gets dirty, the airflow is going to be reduced. The air is what brings the heat to the coil. Because of that, there's not enough heat to boil the refrigerant. So that refrigerant is not going to boil as fast and the pressure and the temperature are going to drop. Now what happens when the temperature of the coil drops down to 32 degrees? we start to get ice forming on the coil. Then we start to ice the coil up and we're going to have even less airflow. A lot of mechanics, they will say, well, the coil is iced up, it must be low in refrigerant. Well, with this, I'm trying to show you that if you have a dirty filter, then your coil could also ice up and you could misdiagnose this and add refrigerant by mistake. So before you add refrigerant, make sure you check your filter. Make sure that filter is clean so that you know that you have the proper amount of airflow. And we want about 400 CFM per ton. This is Julio from Aircon Academy. If you get a chance, take a look on at my webpage, airconacademy.com, and check me out on YouTube and make sure you like the video. Thank you.